um, I've noticed that in my last couple of days of refeeding that my body fat has increased. That's your... My body fat percentage has increased. Uh-huh. Like, just by the fact that I'm not eating the fat. Um, so I was just wondering, because currently I'm just under 20, and the idea is between 15 and 18. Mm -hmm. So how would I get down to the ideal um, if, like, what, what do I need to be doing if I'm not eating any fat and I intend to start eating bananas and avocados? Okay, so, so first of all, fat doesn't build fat. Extra calories builds fat. Don't, you don't have to worry about it. The fact that you're not, you know, if you were eating zero fat, which is impossible, everyone realized that's impossible, because there's fat in every single living cell. So, but if you were able to somehow eat zero fat, and you overate, you'd still get fat. But you're not gaining fat. You're holding water in your intestines. Oh, okay, so you can get the machines misreading. It's, it, well, it's not misreading. What it's doing is it's, it's calculating your body fat based on subtracting everything else from your mass. Excess water, as, as I, is this clear? I think we talked about this yeah. before. Um, you, from the very first week, I mean, we got your first reading, and then I said to you the next week, your body fat numbers won't be accurate anymore. Why not? Because if you're holding any water in your colon, your machine thinks it's fat. It sees that extra weight, can't account for it, and thinks it's fat. But it's been dropping the entire time when I started refeeding it went up, it's been going up. Now you're rehydrating old material in a way you weren't before. Okay, it's, I mean, it's very unlikely that you've gained any fat. That's not likely. It's not impossible, but it's not very likely. Um, so if you have avocados or something in your salad, you don't have to worry about that whole the fat you eat and the fat you wear. No, no, it's just about calories. I mean, calories, you know, it, it's, it's a little convoluted because calories aren't calories, they're different. Um, you guys understand what a calorie is, first of all? What's a calorie? It's energy. energy you use to burn, it's like one megajoule or something. <laughs> you know. Megajoule, no, I don't think so. That's no. a lot. Um, it's, it's the amount megajoule. of energy necessary to raise one cubic centimeter of water one degree Celsius. Celsius. That's what a calorie is. So let me ask you a question. When you eat food, are you heating water up in your body? Is that what you're doing? No. So it's, it's, a, it's a relative measure of the energy of the energy in a food. But it's, it's literally the energy liberated when you burn that food. You set it on fire. How much, how much heat is released. That's what it's actually measuring. But that's not what's happening in your body. Can you see that? We're not heating water up in our bodies by setting this food on fire. We're doing something else. Okay, so it's, it's a relative indicator of the amount of energy embedded in something. But it's not necessarily the most accurate way to look at it. I don't know of a more accurate way. So it's what we have. But Anybody here ever raise animals, like as a farmer? You know, pigs, cows, anything like that? Go up on a farm? Animal farmers know if you want to fatten your animal, you cook the feed. You give them the same amount of food and, they, and you cook it and they get fatter. So calories aren't calories. It somehow changes how the body interacts with them. Um, and that may be because it becomes toxic and the body has to hold fat. To, I don't know. But, but it, you know, it's what they want to fatten up the animal, that's what they do. I don't know that calories are necessary to calories, but because it's the best we have, understand that it's really about how many calories you're consuming relative to how many your body is, is needing, is using. Okay? So avocados are problematic for people sometimes, not because they're mostly fat, but because they have a lot of calories because they're mostly fat. Okay? A lot more calories in fat than in anything else. Um, that's the issue with, with fat. It's just that it's, it comes, you know, sugar and fat are where you're going to get your calories. But if you're following the, the guidelines I'm going to give you guys, you don't really have to worry about this. If you eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're satisfied, and you're not eating 10 avocados a day. You know, you're, you're eating some avocado in your salad, 
you're going to be perfectly fine. You are not going to build a bunch of excess fat. Now, anybody here that completes a fast underweight uh, and under the body fat, now underweight, really it's under fat, right? You can be underweight for two reasons. Why? Well, what are they? Muscle. Yeah, those are the primary. I mean, you could also, I guess, be exceptionally dehydrated and so weigh less because of that, but primarily it's because you don't have enough muscle or you don't have enough body fat. So either one of those things is going to have you underweight. And again, we see people all the time now who have, they have enough fat. They often look too thin because they don't have enough muscle. So it's not, you know, if, if that person breaks their fast underweight, but they still have more body fat than would be ideal, they're not going to be putting fat on them. Not if they're doing what they need to. But if somebody breaks their fast and they're only 2% body fat, their body's going to want to build fat. It's going to want to build up some fat reserves to get to a, a healthier, safer place. Um, for guys, you know, depending on what your body is accustomed to, now my body for the last 20 years, my body's been running between 5 and 6% body fat. I would probably have to really go make some terrible choices to take it much higher than that. Because it just naturally says, that's it, that's what I'm, I'm good. If you've been walking around with 20% body fat, your body may tend to go higher than would be optimal. Okay? You know, where, where I'd like to see all guys under around 12. Your, your body, if it's used to 20 for a long time, it may still wind up going a little higher. It's certainly going to go higher than mine. It may go, go closer to 12 than to 6. Women, again, I believe between 15 and 18 percent is probably where you want to be, assuming you want to have a figure. You know, or if, you're, if you uh, haven't gone through menopause, if you'd like to have children, um, you know, because if you're 5 or 6 percent body fat, you won't be fertile. And you'll look like a 12-year-old boy. You won't, you won't have any breasts, you won't have any hips, you won't have a butt. You look like a boy because there won't be any fat to, to round out those curves. So women uh, that want to look like women and they want their bodies to function like women need to be around 15 to 18 percent. But you don't you don't really have to micromanage this. Like so, you're worried about you know here I am not even eating any fat and I'm building fat. You're probably just holding water. But as you get more active and you listen to your body and you're eating you know you're eating when you're hungry until you're satisfied you're going to do perfectly fine and don't have to worry about it at all. None of you do. You're going to do great. Okay?